Now to some shocking allegations of sexual abuse inside L.A. County's juvenile detention system. Nearly 300 former inmates claim that they were assaulted and raped while serving time there. The alleged victims filed a lawsuit and their attorney says the abuse happened over a period of decades. Kick on political reporter Tom Waite joins us now with this disturbing story tonight. Yeah, Tom. very disturbing, Jeff, and a lot of stunning allegations, as you mentioned, that yeah. we need to hear some response to still. So we spoke with one of the alleged victims tonight who says after just over a year in juvenile hall, he was a broken person suffering horrific abuse, including rape. It was a lot. It's a lot to even process right now. This is the man known as John S.V. Rowe describing what he says it's like to cope with rape and sexual abuse from decades ago while he was serving time in L.A. County's juvenile detention system. It's a lot of physical abuse and then there was times where I was abused, you know, knocked unconscious and then taken advantage of. John, as we'll call him, was housed in L.A. County's Central Juvenile Hall back in the 90s. He served a little over a year, a time that he says that nearly broke him. Tried to hurt myself multiple times, suicide attempts. Um, really questioned my, my sexuality for a while. Roe is part of a lawsuit that includes 270 alleged victims accusing probation officers and guards, both male and female, as abusers. These children, these victims, didn't know otherwise. Doug Rockin is with ACTS Law. He's representing the alleged victims, the accusations of rape and abuse against personnel inside the juvenile detention system date back to the 1970s and are as recent as 2018. In its purest form, it was a total exercise of control over children who had no ability to turn away, no ability to say no, and we're being told if you if you didn't comply that you were going to be punished you'd be sent to the shoe or you won't get phone privileges or we're going to prevent you from seeing your family members john sv rose says the trauma of what happened to him stopped him from reporting the abuse for decades and he still fears for his safety and for the safety of his loved ones if this ever came out that you know they, they would get us or their family you know there would be retaliation in uh the best thing to do was just to, to keep your mouth shut. Do you think some of these accused are still working in the system now? I would be dumbfounded that if there aren't still individuals working there currently. We tried to get more information about this from L.A. County's Public Information Office, but did not hear back when we reached out Tuesday evening. And when we reached out to the county probation department, we were told they had no comment at this time. Now, typically, municipalities do not comment on pending litigation, but we will stay on top of the story. Jeff, back to you. I know you will.